Hello and welcome to the Flick Fix Show. Today we're going to be looking at War Machine, Netflix's latest attempt at making a blockbuster movie. Is it a bombastic success or is it a shot in the foot? Let's find out. <laughs> So, War Machine is kind of a absurd political comedy that's kind of based on a real life situation and it's kind of good sometimes. So the film is about General Glenn McMahon, played by Brad Pitt, and his time in charge of the occupation slash invasion of Afghanistan and his ever increasing hubris about the situation. So, is the film actually any good? Let's go over the positives. The cast is great. Brad Pitt excels in the lead role and all the supporting characters do a great job with Ben Kingsley being a highlight. There are some weird choices with big actors coming in for almost cameos that seem a bit out of place. The film is also incredibly funny when it wants to be. Although it doesn't always hit the mark, most of the jokes are funny. It's just a shame that most of them are kind of limited to the first half. The film also functions incredibly well as a kind of political lesson about the entire topic. Coming out of the film I felt a lot more enlightened and informed about the entire situation and I think it's a good film for like informing the audience. Although it does get a little bit too explainy, expositiony. Now let's move on to the negatives. Now this one's a bit tricky because the first half, first two thirds of the movie is a absurd, wacky comedy that's almost like Dr. Strangelove. But then the film just snaps into a completely different role. It goes from Dr. Strangelove to the Hurt Locker and that kind of tonal shift gives you whiplash. So what I mean by that is the film kind of teetered along for the first kind of half being a kind of absurd comedy and the film does an okay job at that, it's entertaining, it's funny, bit all over the place but it's alright and then the third act kicks in and it goes from being a apolitical comedy to a hard-hitting dark satire and it just doesn't mesh. Everything that worked about the first half of the film, still in the second half, it just doesn't work. It retroactively changes the film and makes it not work for itself. It's really weird. So overall, the film just tries to have its cake and eat it. It tries to be this fun, absurd comedy, while also trying to be this dark political satire, and it just can't do both. Every good thing it does but in one direction detracts from the other and that's a, it's a shame they should have just been more confident with one aspect either done an absurd comedy or a dark satire you can't do both somewhere in there is a good movie with a good message and a good story but trying to do two things at the same time just brought this film down so much so overall I'm gonna be giving the film 5 out of 10 it's good if you like this topic matter, but if you don't, don't see a lot to kind of interest the general audience. So if you like this review, please like and comment and subscribe. I'd love to hear your opinions. Do you think it's too lenient? Do you think it's too harsh? Please comment below and we can have a little chat about it. Please check out my channel and my other videos. And that's about it. Bye!